Pete Barnes's flight yesterday took him from Red Hill across the capital. There are routes set out by the Civil Aviation Authority for helicopters and in the inner control zone over central London they branch off the river, keeping aircraft over the comparatively clear air space above the water. But the Thames and the views it offers have become more and more attractive. And in the area where Captain Barnes crashed, we've marked a number of the tall buildings. That's 20, 30, 40, 50 plus stories. That's around 600 feet high that are already there or in the pipeline. Pilots can't seek safety by going higher than one or 2,000 feet or they may be in conflict with planes heading for City Airport or Heathrow. In fact, the stretch of the Thames at Nine Elms next to the Vauxhall crash site may soon be full of tall buildings. How high? We're looking at uh, up to 52, 54 storeys, I think it is, next to Vauxhall Cross. Right on um, the river. Right on the river, um, and obviously down to 15, 20 storeys, yes. So there is going to be a long stretch, potentially, of taller buildings along the river. According to the Air Accident Investigation Branch, yesterday's accident is the second in London since 2006. For context, there were almost 19,000 helicopter flights through London last year. But those flights are increasingly through airspace touched by the top of new tall buildings. Robin Punt, BBC London News.